we're going to talk about health and safety. Before we do, if I could please ask you to take a moment, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel where we talk about all things tax and the kind of things that you need to be looking at and thinking about if you want to work for yourself or run your small business. As the name suggests, health and safety refers to safety and it is all about the prevention of death, accidents and ill health relating to working environments. Health and safety is a far reaching topic which will vary hugely depending on your business operations, your working environment and also who else may be affected by these. Employees, the general public and your customers should all be considered when you are thinking of ensuring safe working practices. The health and safety executive that we have today has evolved from Her Majesty Factory Inspectorates first appointed under the Factories Act of 1833. And they are a government agency whose aim is to reduce work related death, injury and ill health. Let's talk about preparing a health and safety policy. The law says that every business must have a policy for managing health and safety. A health and safety policy sets out your general approach to health and safety, explains how you as an employer will manage health and safety in your business. It should clearly say who does what, when and how they do it. If you have five or more employees, you must write your health and safety policy down. If you have less than five, you do not have to write it down but it can be good practice to do so. You must share the policy and any changes to it with your employees. Turning then to risk assessments, the term risk assessment may apply across various aspects of your business operations. A risk assessment is the process of identifying potential hazards or negative events for your business evaluating the risks and consequences, and then establishing what precautions can be put in place to minimise the impact of the hazards or negative events. It is important not only to document risk assessments that you carry out for your business, but also to review them at regular intervals to check if any of the findings have changed or may need updating. Even as a small business, you should be mindful of health and safety and how this affects your business and your business operations. But as a small business, does the law apply to you? Well, the law will apply if you're an employer. And it will also apply if your work activity is specific, specifically mentioned in the, in the health and safety regulations. This includes working construction, agriculture, railways or work with gas, asbestos or genetically modified, modified organisms. And the law, law will also apply if your work activity poses a risk to the health and safety of anyone else. As I mentioned earlier, health and safety is a far reaching topic. You should visit the health and safety executive website to find out more information about how health and safety relates to your business operations specifically and for guidance on your own in industry. I hope this overview has been helpful and please do remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.